Hey Nessa babes, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Vanessa, she back and she better. So as you guys can tell from the title of today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to add auto-tunes onto your vocals on Logic Pro X. So this video is mainly catered towards computer, laptop, desktop users, whatever you want to call it. So if you're using your mobile phone, I'm afraid you can't do that with Logic Pro X. But girl, don't worry, I got you covered. You can click the link up here because I already filmed a mobile version so you can still add auto-tune onto your vocals on your phone you're welcome but i just want to say that today's videos filming concept is a little different i usually sit here display the screen recording and i explain everything but today i'm just going to display my desktop screen recording on full screen so you guys can see the full vision of it and i will be explaining it through um voiceover so yeah, I just wanted to say that before we get started because I don't want y'all to be like, oh, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, if you're interested to know how to um, add auto-tunes onto your vocals, then definitely keep on watching this video. But before we get started, y'all already know the drill. Give this video a big, big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel because more content like this will be coming your way. So might as well might as well subscribe okay so yeah i'm done talking let's just get started into this video we're on our desktop right now and as you can see logic pro x is already down here for me since i use it so often but if you don't know how to find where your Logic Pro X is, you obviously have to download it from Safari first and then it will probably be in Finder's download folder or it will already be in Launchpad where all your apps will be. So I'm just going to open up Logic Pro X right now. Alright, so this is a old project that I already posted on my YouTube channel. So if you guys want to see my cover on No Time To Die, y'all can click the top right over here i will leave a link so you guys can watch it that would be great but yeah so let's just get straight into adding auto tunes um let's just listen to my vocals without any auto tunes first so let's do the chorus part and I fall fall you were never on my side all right so that was really loud okay so that is my vocals without any auto tune to add auto tunes you just go to this section right here and you want to click on one of these this icon right here you want to click on that and you want to search for a pitch and then search for pitch control click on that and when it turns blue which means it is turned on so my vocals have all of these turned on so like reverbs EQ and compressor and all that stuff but nothing really to adjust my vocals so let's click on this so as you can see this is what your auto-tune um, thing will look like so you can adjust the key of the song and the scale whether it's major or minor and all that stuff just a heads up I do not use auto-tune for any of my cover videos because first I don't need it second of all I don't know how to use it and it just doesn't suit me whatsoever I know that no time to die is in a E minor key so I'm just gonna set it to natural minor scale and then I'm going to put the key E. So to adjust like how much auto-tune you want on your vocals depends on this thing right here. So the lower you go, the more auto-tune will be added onto your vocals. So this is like 100%. So let's hear it now. Did I fall So there you have it. That is basically my vocals with auto-tune on. Yeah, you have to set it right so that the auto-tune can, can pick up the key that you're singing on. 
but like if you try to like change the song you know how some of us like to improvise yeah the auto tune will not pick up on that because you're mainly setting the key on e so if you want the auto tune to just kind of follow what you're singing just edit just set it to chromatic and then none so it's not set to any specific key if you know what i mean okay so now let's just hear the vocals with a little bit lesser auto tune so i'm pulling it up to about 50 and yeah let's hear that and I definitely sounds a lot better than a hundred percent so it basically all depends on you how much auto tune you want to add how little how much you want to add um yeah so just basically play around here and i'm sure you will find the perfect sound that you want so another bonus thing that i want to share with you guys is basically when you're singing and then there's a certain part that you feel sounds a little bit flat so you want to just like readjust the pitch let me show you guys how to do that so basically you just double click on your vocal track and this thing will pop up and we're just gonna pull this up and then you want to hit on this icon right here and then turn on flex and then click on this bar and click on flex pitch boom and you can see like where exactly your pitch was while you were singing so as you can see right here there's like a blue bar and like a gray bar so when it shows up like this it means that you're not singing on a, on a specific key so let's say this was a C key but you're not singing on a C you're basically singing in between a C or a little bit higher or a little bit lower so if it's like a perfect pitch it's gonna look like this but this one is just kind of like or oh, you're in the middle if you know what I mean so what you can do here is they have all these six little dots where you can adjust everything so let's say you were singing a little soft on this part you can adjust the volume of it so this is where you adjust the volume and then right here is the pitch drift so this is where when you when you feel like you're singing a little bit flat like it's a little bit too low you can just kind of like pull it up do you see do you hear that you can do it at the front as well yeah that's really cool and you can also adjust how much vibrato you want if you want more vibrato or lesser vibrato and then fine pitch is basically like like you want to pull up that note just a little bit not to like a full key but like just a little bit so y'all see that yeah this is really cool to me or you guys can just right click on this specific key and click on set to perfect pitch we'll do that in a sec but i want you guys to hear my vocals without any retouching so let's hear it Did I fall all right so that's that so now we're gonna set all of this to perfect pitch so if you don't want to manually do this you can just like hit command A and it will select the whole track like the whole song but we're just gonna do this part so I'm just gonna manually do it alright and then this part has a lot of vibrato on it so I'm gonna like tone down the vibrato and let's hear how it sounds Did I fall definitely still prefer my original raw kind of sound this definitely puts it into like the key that it's supposed to be but sometimes it does it don't really need to be in the in the key that it's supposed to be you know like i don't know how to explain it but like you just know what kind of sound you want from your from your recordings so i would not do any of this so I'm just going to set everything back to original because I like the way the original sounds 
so yeah that's the bonus tip you can do that to basically any part of the song so yeah that's it all right guys so we have come to the end of this video i hope you guys learned something from this video as you guys saw it's actually really really simple and sometimes you can really overdo it with autotune but we're all using it for the right reasons we just want a little bit of enhancement just like how girls put on makeup we're already pretty but we just want a little bit of enhancement so that's what autotune does so yeah i really really hope that today's video helps at least one of you guys out and if you know a friend that you know wants to learn how to add autotunes onto their vocals then do share this video to them you know we gotta be successful together don't be stingy my guy don't be stingy okay so yeah thank you guys so so much for watching make sure to comment down below what videos you guys want me to film because since we're being quarantined right now I got a lot of free time and I can free and I can film a lot of videos for you guys so do let me know because I want to know what you guys want to watch I don't want to be like filming videos and posting it and you guys not wanting to watch it you know what I mean so do comment down below videos that you guys want me to film and I will happily do that for you guys so yeah make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel because that would be awesome and yeah that's all i want to say for this outro thank you for watching see you guys in my next video